Hello, good morning, Brave Masters. Jenna Rodriguez here, and I'm the CEO and founder of Brave Masters. And I am a brand business and brave strategist helping you monetize your business and uh, up-level your uh, brand clarity. So, um, so I wanted to jump in and see how everyone was doing today. And if you are here live, great, say hello. I wanna know that you're here and engaging with me. And then if you're on the replay, I always ask, uh, hit that hashtag replay. So I also know that you are playing along and uh, in, engaging as well and taking a look at this. So um, uh, here's the thing. I actually have a, a pretty clear intention about this conversation. Uh, not that I don't <laughs> usually, uh, but there's an intention. And one is this, is that I have three spots left in uh, currently in my highest level Beyond Brave Mastermind. Uh, and it's a 12 month program where we really catapult your business and accelerate. And, and so I just wanted to announce that, share that with my community, share that with you, because I know sometimes we don't even know that there's an option. We don't even know that there's a place that we can play, a playground we can jump into. Um, and I just really wanted to start with that uh, to let you know that that is available and an invitation to those that want to have a conversation. Um, it is a matter of figuring out if you're really a right fit for it uh, and we're a good fit. And, uh, and so I wanted to say that up front. Um, and, and then I want to give you some insight into the kind of things that we actually talk about and the, and the kind of things that we uh, move through um, in that program. And, you know, and it's like, I can give you a 10 minute video. Um, uh, however, it's only 10 minutes, right? And I can only do so much to just motivate you, give you some tactics, giving you some strategy, et cetera. And, and so when you really start to invest in yourself at a higher level, and I know this firsthand, um, you truly get to play a bigger game and you get to have the rewards of that bigger game being played. Um, so, uh, so there's a couple things. Oh, also, um, something super exciting about the program is, uh, coming up in October, uh, we are, uh, is our next three day mastermind in person mastermind or intensive. I call it a growth intensive and we are going to the beach. So I've rented a house on the beach. And, um, so it might be something that's just, uh, really exciting for you to also consider. And, uh, so anyway, if you're interested, if you have any idea, uh, you know, don't even know, like if you're like, I don't even know if this is right for me, but I'd love to know more. Um, I'll put a link in, in the chat or the comments to invite you to a, a conversation and we can just look at it together. Okay. So the other thing that, um, if you're here live, say hello, I see a few eyeballs. <laughs> Um, uh, I, uh, otherwise, yes, hit, hit that hashtag replay when you watch it on recording. Um, so here's the thing. One of the things, uh, the, the kind of the primary, um, philosophy, if you would call it behind my work with people is what I call the vital pace and the vital pace roadmap. And it's the kind of the backdrop for what, how I approach their business and their, and our strategy together and identifying, you know, where they are and where they're trying to go. And it looks like something like this. Some of you may have seen it. Uh, and I'm going to put the link for this as well. You can download it for free and check it out. It basically, it's really powerful at being able to say, oh, this is where I am. And these are the things that I need to stay focused on. And because I see what's happening for people a lot of times is they are uh, trying to emulate and listen to people that are farther along, meaning that's, that's the idea is I mean, you want to, you want to work with people and you want to invest with people that are farther than you are. However, if you're not inside of their business and really clear on what's right for you at the stage that you're at, then you might be trying to do strategies and investments and things like that or spending money on things um, that are premature, that's all. It doesn't mean you're not going to and it's not gonna be time at some point. Um, however, I'm always encouraging people to go, this is where you are, let's master these things so that when those get traction, we move to the next thing. You know, it's kind of like, don't get ahead of the horse, right? <laughs> like, you know, you gotta stay the course and you gotta know where the, what the course is where you're going, what you're trying to accomplish, what is the goals, all of that. 
um, but without kind of losing your way in the process. So that's what the Vital Pace Roadmap is really all about. Um, it's just the backdrop of how I work with people in for myself to, number one, identify uh, where you are and how, how I can help you and what's best for you. Uh, you know, but it also helps you self-identify um, what's right. So one of the pieces of where most of my clients are, a lot of you are in launch phase or maybe the second level, which is that hustle phase. Um, and when you're in launch phase, and obviously this is important as you move forward, um, you know, but one of the things that I think is really important in the launch phase is, at least one of them, is cleaning, clean your space your head space, your physical space, right? Like get ready, be ready for opening the door, opening the floodgates, right? I think there is clutter in, in our minds and clutter in our space a lot of times. And, um, and so for instance, I uh, periodically now, uh, I, I, hopefully you guys are noticing there's a little bit of a different background, <laughs> all right? I completely rearranged my office after like four years of sitting in the same spot. Um, I was just turned this way and that, that wall over here was the backdrop for four years. Um, and I wanted a fresh start. I wanted a fresh outlook. Uh, not only do I have these gorgeous like arch windows on the side, each side of my computer, um, which gives me amazing daylight, uh, but I can see nature. I can see something, uh, kind of a different view, a different perspective. Uh, and so really that's the message inside of us. Not only energetically does it help to declutter. Uh, so I decluttered my files. I threw all kinds of things into the recycle bin and, uh, and, and opened up my space in a different way. So that is important. I think part of it is um, just really taking inventory of your environment um physically that's one um and uh doing something about it right take them take a weekend take I, I took a couple hours on saturday and took care of this and i felt so much better like i and it's just a feeling you get when you're it's like a reboot right so um so regardless of where what your space is make sure it's ready to take action ready to build your business to the next level. Uh, and I always like this idea of, you know, creating the space for where you're going, not just where you are or where you have been. You know, if you're sitting at a kitchen table trying to run a business from home, I would consider another option, you know, find an extra bedroom or find a different corner that is dedicated to your business. Now, I obviously have an office. I mean, I've turned a bedroom. Um, we, we have a four bedroom house. So um, I turned a bedroom into an office years ago. And it's great. It's in the front of the house. I get to see, you know, the world outside as well. And, uh, and I feel really comfortable in this. I even painted it white because I was like, I want white space. I want creative space. So enough about that. But um, I think it's really an important piece to look at is um, where are you spending your time and how, how do you keep yourself, um, you know, fresh and, and, you know, in the right zone, right? So much of our um, business is about being showing up every day, being the CEO of your business. And so if you're working in your home, you still have to create the office, the create the space for work to be done, create the space for um, the vision that you're creating. Okay. So that is one thing that um, I, I do like to encourage people in the uh, launch phase of that vital pace. It's even listed there, clean space and master the next thing, which is your mind. And uh, so that we have a lot of clutter in our mind as well. And so we have to get in the right frame of mind in order to conquer and be the victor of our business. And so um, I always say you're either victim or victor, right? Victim or Victor, <laughs> Victor. <laughs> um, and, and, you know, you get to choose which one that is, right? And so I have, I've been in both, right? And right, and currently, right, where I spend my time now is in Victor. And, uh, and what that means is that I'm very conscientious of my mindset and what I'm thinking and what I'm feeling and all of that. And also the truth about the matter, right? So, this is part of this conversation has come out of and it always I mean, I'm always inspired by the dialogue that I have with my private clients and my um, programs. 
And yesterday we had our group call. We always have a group call on Tuesday. And, uh, and so we were, I, I, I actually had a, I showed up to the call going, okay, this is what we're going to talk about. I do some type of training or, you know, dot topic. Um, and, uh, and I completely changed my course <laughs> and because I was like, here's one more tactic. Right. Here's one more strategy we can talk about. Here's one more action we can talk about. And the truth is you guys have, I mean, you can go back to my other videos and hear all about the different actions you should be taking or the way you should be marketing or how to get visibility or sales or whatever. And those are all part of the list right here, right here on the, the vital pace. It's in the list. However, um, one of the things that I think we overlook is getting to the root of what's holding us back. And so what I, what I opened up yesterday in the conversation and went one by one, I, I talked to each person individually and, um, and it was about what is really holding you back? What is really stopping you from getting where you want to go? And so I want you to actually pause on that. And I did, I intentionally slowed it down because your survivor, your, your kind of your ego answer is going to be really quick and really fast and go, well, that's it. That's why, you know, it's, uh, I mean, it could be any kind of circumstance. It could be any kind of, um, uh, outside, you know, factor, uh, or effect of some sort, or it could be, okay, I just need to go take action on this and this will solve the problem. And I, you know, I'm just not taking action. And, you know, so that top line answer is not really the root of it. Uh, and so I, I encouraged my clients to get, go deeper and to look deeper. And I supported them in actually asking questions that maybe they've never thought about. And so I'd love to hear what you think is holding you back. And this is a, you know, a real moment. We've got to talk about it. We've got to look at it. And, and I'm here to be that, that sounding board for you, uh, if you, um, desire so that, you know, this doesn't hold you back and I can just kind of, you know, listen to what you have to say and, and, you know, maybe give you some ideas. Um, cause here's the thing when we stop and really sit back for a moment, cause we're in the doing, right? I know you guys are busy. I know you're in action and you're, um, uh, one of, one of my clients was like, I'm feeling like a squirrel, right? I'm just like trying everything so I can just figure it out, figure it out. Right. And I've got to figure it out and this didn't work today. So I got to jump over here and do this. And that's chaotic. That's not flow. That's not right. That's not kind of like running, moving down the river with the stream. It's kind of like jumping off to the side and then jumping back in, jumping off to the side, jumping back in, trying to figure something out instead of like riding the wave and sticking with things long enough for them to actually work. And um, so it's not a matter of not knowing a lot of times, it's a matter of not um, seeing what is really holding you back. Typically it's a fear um, and fear is something that we've got to bring forth so that we can look at it and take ownership of it as well as be in choice about it because fear is not real. Fear is something we make up. It's a story we tell ourselves. And, and even if you have tons of evidence, which this was also discussed is even if you have tons of evidence about the fear that you have, you're like, I'm right about this. This happened to me. History does not equal present or future unless you say so. Right? So, um, it's, it's, there is another way there is, you know, it does not have to equal, um, what you've experienced and, um, Hey Chris, how are you? Welcome. If you guys are here live, love to say hello. Um, just uh, say Hey in the chat comments and, um, would love to know what's, what you're up to. Um, so fear is not the, you know, fear is something we've got to put a spotlight on in order to go, that's what's autopilot. That's what I'm waking up with. And yet it's not real. And you can absolutely convince yourself and justify that it is. And the, the choice, the mind mastery is being able to choose a different story about it and say, okay, that did happen, right? Facts like, okay, that happened in the past and, or it happened to that person or whatever. However, 
it it's a choice to have it happen again it's a choice to not learn from it it's a choice to you know consider the alternative that it does not have to equal your your future so fear is something that usually shows up in this conversation and so there's a fear of something right and sometimes the fear that we think it is is not actually the fear that's really you know holding us back so we have to dig deeper and and really bring kind of dig through the layers of what's going on and then be willing to inquire about it be willing to sit with the question of what's really holding me back and what's really the fear about um, those kind of things and sometimes the answer is not going to show up because the the ego wants to give you a very quick answer to protect you right it's like let me just tell you what this is so you can just keep moving right move on right don't look at this <laughs> and um, our higher self our um, you know kind of our inner GPS is waiting for us to just kind of get quiet and look for the truth in the matter and that you are safe you are you know okay and that you do have what it takes and you do have the answers confusion is another one it's like well I don't know how to do it and I've got to have this ready because if I don't have this ready then th this is what people are gonna think right a lot of times that's also what's holding us back is we're really worried about the judgment or the um, uh, you know like what people are gonna think about us if we don't do something or don't have this handled or don't have this figured out and the truth is again that's a story and, and so I just want to leave you with this today as an inquiry, as a question, is what's really holding you back? And um, I, want, I want you to ponder it and, um, because it's, it's what's in the way. And when you can really break through that and, and start to see new possibility, then you can choose differently. You can create a different ex you know, reality for that matter. And so, um, so I'd love to hear what you're thinking. I'd love to hear what, how this has helped you. And again, if you're on the, on the replay, hit hashtag replay and let me know what your thoughts are, what your biggest takeaway was. And, our, and I would love to know if you're willing to ask this question of yourself and really start to dig deeper into the reason that you play small or you're not getting to the result or you're not getting to the cash flow you want or the business that you want or you're not speaking or you're not getting visible, like whatever it is that you know you should be doing um, in order to build your business. It, and you know, and it's like, then let's get real about it, right? Let's really look under the hood so that we can fine tune it and, uh, and be able to move forward. Um, uh, someone recently told me that the faster we close this emotional loop or any emotional loop that is incomplete, um, then the, the faster we, we, we go, right? The faster we, um, I say, um, like we go down the river, right? Just imagine a river, picture the river. <laughs> and it's like white water rapids and, and it's flowing fast downhill. And, uh, and you're trying to go uphill or you keep trying to jump off to the side and get back in, jump off to the side, get back in. And so there's an inconsistency and that incomplete is, um, is certainly going to impact your results. That's the bottom line. So um, I hope you're having an amazing day. This is something that um, I'm going through myself. I'm opening that conversation uh, for myself as well. And, uh, and I just wanna encourage you to do the same. Uh, this, this is the type of thought leadership and, um, and really getting under the, you know, the hood of someone's mind and someone's business and someone's, you know, ability to be the CEO and leader of their business. That's the kind of things that we really dig deeper into in my Beyond Brave uh, Mastermind. And so, like I said, I had an intention um, just to open up the conversation, open up the possibility for those of you that are looking for a community um, uh, to jump into that will move your business absolutely forward. I have one of my clients just hit her a five figure month uh, and she's been with me a few months. Uh, and so it's like, it's super exciting what's possible when we really start to peel back the onion layers. Uh, so if you're interested in that, you can go to, um, uh, bravemasters.com slash now in OW like now is the time let's talk about it and again it's it's just a conversation with you with me and we look at is this something that's a good fit and I have three spots open currently as, as of this viewing um, thank you for the love I see the hearts thank you thank you and um, and so uh, 
my intention is that you're supported. You are, you know, like you're growing and expanding and, um, and really being brave, right? That's my motive. My movement is brave entrepreneurs, brave masters. And, and that's really what I'm about. So, um, I want you to be a part of that if you feel called to, and I care about you. I care about your uh, results. I care about your life and your family and the things that you want out of your life. So, this is an opportunity for you to have that at a, um, at a much more accelerated level. So um, anyway, I hope you had an amazing day. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And uh, please, like I said, um, put in the comments what your thoughts are and what your takeaway is from this conversation. And, um, and, you know, and let us, let us support you. Let me support you. So uh, until later, I will talk to you soon. And I hope you have a brave day, right? Brave daily. Talk to you soon.